Hi and welcome back to another Unity C Sharp tutorial. In this tutorial we will be demonstrating how to fix an issue that can be quite frustrating to try to solve if you've ever run into it in Unity and that's the issue of rotation constraints not working on an object. So I have a game here and I have these little cubes which I can push around and I want the player to be able to spin them in circles and push them but I don't want the player to be able to rotate them. And so what I've done is I've just checked the freeze rotation on the X and Z axes, which means that the cube shouldn't rotate, but it should be able to spin basically sort of clockwise or counterclockwise around this Y axis here. At least that's what you would think. However, when we actually load up the game, you'll see that this isn't the case. And I'll demonstrate this behavior. And it's quite surprising because there's really no indication to you about why this isn't working properly and you may think that there's potentially some bug with the game. So when I load my character, he'll be loaded into that room and you'll see there's this box here. and you would expect, based on the rotation constraints, that my character wouldn't be able to rotate it, but you can see that it's sort of like lifting up, and now he's basically pushed it right over. And then it does this really weird thing here, where it basically just like sort of freezes in midair and never really lands. Um, and you might be thinking to yourself, well, why is this thing doing in this? And like you just look at those really odd rotations there, and then same thing, it, it doesn't land. So the reason for this is due to a setting that isn't really something that I think maybe most people would think of. If I just create a new 3D cube here, actually let me just delete my cube just to demonstrate here. We'll just go create a new 3D object cube and we'll just attach a rigid body to it. Now, if you look at the info down here, you can see that there's this um, grayed out thing here called inertial tensor rotation and it's set to zero. However, if I go and I look at my pushable cube right here, and on its rigid body drop down the info, it has this really weird inertial tensor rotation. And this is actually basically internally changing the way the object is rotated. So if I flip between local and global here, you can see the X and Z axes get turned around, but the Y is still straight up and down. So you would expect basically, based on the fact that Y is up on this, that that rotation would work, but this initial tensor rotation is messing it up. And this is due to the fact, I think, that it's got a mesh collider and it's calculating the center a little strangely. So there's a pretty easy way to fix this. And what I've done is I've just literally made a script called Rotation Fixer. And if we open up this script in C Sharp here, we can see that it's an extremely simple script. Um, the namespace isn't even needed. Basically, you just make a new mono behavior, call it Rotation Fixer. And in the start method, you just get a reference to the rigid body component on the object you're putting it on. You set the rigid body center of mass to vector 30 and set the rigid body's inertia tensor rotation just equal to quaternion identity. That's it. That's all you have to do. So what I'm going to do is all of my pushable objects in this scene here. I'm going to select them all and I'm going to add component and I'm just going to add that rotation fixer script to them. Now remember what this cube's initial inertia tensor rotation is, 329, 15, 329, then we are going to save this and we're going to load up the level again. So we'll go back to my load game manager here and we'll press play and then we'll actually look at these objects in the inspector again and we'll see that after the start has run, those values have been reset to something that allows us to properly push them.
Okay, so I'm going to head over here. I'm going to pause the game. We'll open up the Temple of Ancient Energy, open up the interactables here, and look at this pushable cube. And under the drop down menu, you can see now its inertia tensor rotation is now 0, 0, 0 instead of those 329 values. And this means that our rotation constraints will now be applied to an internally unrotated object. In other words, whatever it's currently set to. So let's test this out. Now you can see that we can rotate this thing, but no matter what angle we hit it at, it's not going to do that weird rotation where the cube is flipping over. So this is great because now my character can properly push these things around the room, you know, he can turn them in circles, push them wherever he wants, and they're not going to rotate strangely. That's it. It's a pretty simple fix. I hope you enjoyed that, and as always, if you did, then don't forget to subscribe to the NERPG YouTube channel, thumbs up the video, or just leave a note in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time.